Dr. Pescatori, how does pycnogenol impact the health of a diabetic, for example? Sure. I mean, pycnogenol is a, is a nutritional supplement that every diabetic should be on, without really? a doubt. I mean, because it has so many uses in diabetes. I mean, diabetes is, you know, it's an awful condition where your blood sugar is elevated consistently. And what bothers me the most about diabetes yes. and what, is that it's such an insidious disease. It's not something, and this is why people don't take it seriously. Because right. it's not something that's going to kill you tomorrow. No. It's going right. to kill it's you insidious. over the next 30 years. Mm -hmm. And it's going to do it slowly, and it's going to do it in really awful ways where you get, it's the leading cause of blindness in the United States. It's the leading cause of amputation in the United States foot ulcers that don't heal. I mean, all of these kidney damage, so they all, uh, most diabetics will eventually have high blood pressure. And the way pycnogenol works, because it works, you know, diabetes is basically a small blood vessel disease. It is. Yeah, it's a disease, that's why it affects the retina and the eyes, and that's why it affects the kidneys. And that's mm -hmm. why it affects, that's why you can't get healing in, uh -huh. your, in your extremities because it affects the small blood vessels. Okay. Pycnogenol is a wonderful uh, nutritional supplement that helps to support the health of, of the microcirculation. All right. And there's, and, and there's clinical research and uh, scientific publications that talk about the use of pycnogenol in eye health. Mm -hmm. So it keeps your eyes healthy. It, it, there's a, a study that looks at lowering blood sugar. There's okay. a study that looks at lowering hemoglobin A1C, which is the most important. And any diabetic will know what a hemoglobin okay. A1C right. is. It's basically, it's a test, it's a blood test that measures your blood sugar level over the past six weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's a much better indicator of how well your blood sugar is controlled than just a fasting blood sugar. All right. Because uh, you can have a fasting blood sugar that's 171 day mm -hmm. and your hemoglobin A1C still be in a very decent range. So the studies that support the use of pycnogenol in diabetics okay. use it in the eye health, use it in All right. uh, keeping your kidneys functioning well, use it in just lowering the blood sugar, use it in to support hypertension, and use it to lower hemoglobin A1C. So, so there's a vast array of goodness that pycnogenol can do for a diabetic. So that's that why I say that would be type one should. or type two? Or, uh, or well, of course, I mean, because it's the same, it's the same problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so it really is the same problem, which is just elevated blood sugar mm -hmm. leading to all of these conditions. Well, this and is quite a revelation, isn't it? I mean, for you as a physician, haven't you treated diabetes for many years? Treat di well, you treat diabetes constantly these mm -hmm. days because so. when two thirds of the country is overweight, you're going to end up mm -hmm. with almost two thirds of the country will have diabetes. I mean, we now have, what is it estimated, 20 million people in the United States have diabetes, 20 million people who don't know they have diabetes mm -hmm. and that do have it. We're starting to see type two diabetes, which is in children. Yes. The youngest case now that has been reported is seven years old. Type two and a seven type year old. Type two and a seven year old, which we never saw before. No, because that was usually associated with getting older, wasn't it? Correct. Because my sister had type 1, but she got it when she was 13. Right, because so. type 1 we used to call juvenile diabetes, right. and type 2 we used to call adult diabetes. But now, now we can't do that anymore. The lines are blurred. Completely, and that's, that's just scary to me. And to be able to have a natural supplement, yes. a natural substance like pycnogenol, that can do so many things on so many layers mm -hmm. of a diabetic's health mm -hmm. is remarkable to me. Because it not only will it help support lowering the blood sugar, which is what every diabetic, that's mm -hmm. the only thing they think right, about, right. Um, when they really should be thinking about how is it affecting my eyes, how is it affecting my blood pressure, how is it affecting my kidneys, how is it affecting the microcirculation to my toes, how is it affecting the blood vessels going to my brain? Mm -hmm. Your brain, the blood vessels going to your heart. That's why so many diabetics will have silent heart attacks. Okay. because they don't even know that they're having heart attacks because it's that microcirculation, those small blood vessels that just cut off little parts of, mm -hmm. of, of the circulation and it cuts off the oxygen to your heart. You get these things. Same way, dementia, where you get white matter ischemic changes that you see in <laughs> okay. you know, the fancy words, again, mm -hmm. that you see in MRIs or CAT scans. Right. And really what that is is the small blood vessels just closing off. When blood vessels close off, you lose oxygen tissue dies. And so pycnogenol helps to support those little tiny blood vessels. And that's, that's, that's why, to me, it's so important in, in, in diabetic care.
It's just affecting us on an organic level, right? Oh, well, absolutely. It's, it's, it's helping our other antioxidants, for instance. Mm -hmm. Pycnogenol helps to help the other antioxidants do their job as well. Because when you're diabetic, you're loaded with oxidative stress. You're loaded mm -hmm. with inflammation. And so when you have the ability, when you have a nutritional supplement like pycnogenol, that can lower oxidative stress. Because diabetics get everything. I mean, they, they do, don't high they? cholesterol, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. everything. And pycnogenol works on all of these things because it is an anti-inflammatory. It helps the other. It helps the other antioxidants. It helps right get down right to the capillary level, supporting mm -hmm. the the collagen and elastin that helps keep our blood vessels working. So there's so, and it helps to lower hemoglobin A1C and to lower blood sugar. So it's remarkable to me to have one thing mm -hmm. that can do all of that. Because otherwise you have to take, I mean, if you have a patient coming in from a conventional doctor, they're going to be on a high blood pressure mm -hmm. medication, at least one, mm -hmm. if not two or three. Okay. Um, a statin drug to lower their cholesterol, of course. And uh, then you have them on, then they're going to be on oral hypoglycemics if they're not on insulin. You know, those are drugs mm -hmm. that help lower your mm -hmm. blood sugar. So, you know, they come in on four or five, six, eight different drugs. It's like my head rattles. I'm like, um. we can do something better than this for you. <laughs> and pycnogenol is where I start. Thank you so much, Dr. Pescatori. Thank you.